10 minute marinated portobello mushrooms grill up quickly for a thick and juicy plant-based burger patty. I top mine with miso flavored avocado, a tangy chimichurri, and crisp pickled red onions for a big burst of flavor in every bite. Hello, I'm Catherine. Brian's behind the camera, and this is our favorite plant-based burger because it is so, so easy. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to prepare these portobello mushrooms for your barbecue and how to take your burger toppings up a notch. A lot of plant-based burger recipes call for a lot of ingredients. Some you have to cook in advance, like rice or quinoa. Then you need to put everything in your food processor and make them into patties and hope that they stay together. Although we love these bean burger options, they're just a little bit of work. Portobello mushrooms are so easy to take on a camping trip or to throw on your grill to accommodate those couple vegans in your family. <laughs> And you could honestly just slather some barbecue sauce on these and they'd be good to go. But we're gonna make this a little bit more of a cooking show and whisk up a marinade. To prepare your mushrooms, remove the stem by grabbing it firmly, twisting, and pulling. Reserve the stems for another recipe. Brush any loose dirt from your mushrooms to clean them, but avoid washing them with water as that makes for soggy, less flavorful mushrooms. In a large dish, add two tablespoons balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon tomato, or soy sauce, two cloves of minced garlic, half a teaspoon chili powder, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Whisk to combine and use a pastry brush to spread the marinade over the mushrooms. It may seem like there's not a lot of marinade, but this prevents the mushrooms from getting too soggy. Allow the mushrooms to rest for 10 minutes while you prepare your toppings and heat your grill. Just like you could just put some barbecue sauce on these mushrooms and put them right on your grill, you could use your regular burger toppings, but we like to give you a bit more for your time. So here are some flavorful topping ideas. Avocado, but mash it and add miso paste. If you saw our avocado toast video, then you know that I touted how game-changing adding this fermented soybean paste is for avocado. It gives it a huge boost of savory, salty flavor. And if you don't love the taste of avocados, like me, then try this. Simply mash two avocados with a dash of lemon or lime juice and one teaspoon miso paste. Delish. Chimichurri is an uncooked oil-based condiment that is popular in many South American cuisines and it usually accompanies grilled or barbecued meats. Traditionally, it's chopped parsley and oregano with garlic, some chilies or red pepper flakes, oil, vinegar, salt, and pepper. And the recipe that I have on our blog for this is not traditional because I use cilantro instead of parsley. But today I actually use parsley because it was cheaper than cilantro. So regardless of which herbs you have in your garden or what you can find in your grocery store, you can make a sauce that's similar to this, that looks really beautiful and fancy and like you put a lot of effort into it, but you didn't. And I tend to cut down on the amount of oil that I use so that this isn't too messy on the burgers. And if you want to avoid oil altogether, then you could consider just putting something like cilantro on a burger or homegrown sprouts instead of lettuce. Finally, my quick pickled red onion, which was last week's video. Add vinegar, sugar, salt, and some hot water to a jar, stir to dissolve, add thinly sliced red onion, and within an hour you have a delightfully pickled onion that is crisp and sweet and tangy and our go-to condiment that's so easy to make at home. Let's put it all together. Heat your barbecue, grill pan, or even a nonstick skillet over medium heat and grill your mushrooms for three to five minutes on each side until softened and grill lines appear. Toast your buns for a couple of minutes and lay your grilled mushrooms on top of a big leaf of romaine or butter lettuce to catch some of that moisture. Slather on your miso avocado mash, drizzle some chimichurri, and top with quick pickled red onion. This looks amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna bite it. Do it. Oh, oh yeah. This is some, you just, do it, say what you need to say, I'm good. <laughs> You're just gonna eat. About four years ago when I wrote this recipe, these burgers cost about $4 each, and now the prices have gone up a little bit, so it's about $4.50 per burger, and that's everything in. So the patty alone, the mushroom with the marinade, is about $2, and beyond burgers, the patties alone are about $4 for us. They're expensive. Yeah, you can get them at Costco a little bit cheaper, so look there if you want that option. And then store-bought, like soy burgers, veggie burgers, can be around $1.50 to $2 per patty, so, Pretty good. This is amazing. I feel like I have something in my teeth. Hopefully not. Wish There's a little something. <laughs> 
the longer these sit, they will get a little soggier. So it's a good idea to eat them as quickly as you can. I'm after. eating so fast. <laughs> well, you don't have to eat quickly, but like put them on your burger bun and like get to it a little quickly. We have had them as leftovers though, and it's fine. They might just be a little messy, but again, we like messy sandwiches, messy burgers. We've done a few of those on oh, this yeah. channel. This just does what I want it to do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the one thing though it is lacking in is a dominant protein source because it is just a mushroom. So it's a good idea to have something like a bean salad on the side of this and then you cover your bases. If you like this as much as Brian obviously does, then hit I'm that subscribe it. button and let us know in the comments what your favorite plant-based burger is. Also, Catherine Secret oh. has a fish burger recipe mm. that's been lying in the wait. It's made from celeriac, the root of celery, and a vegan tartar or Tartar? Tartar. I think not tartar. I don't know. That's tartar. Else. Uh, yeah. If you want some more burger recipes, you got to beat Burgerito. Yeah. That's very good. I'm working on them. I want to eat them, so <laughs> suggest them. It's too bad we couldn't find nicer buns for today. That's the only thing. You know what? We love all buns the same equally. Everybody's buns yeah, are Yeah, everybody's okay. buns deserve love. <laughs> Even if they're a little... Careful. <laughs>